Hi, I'm Dr. Scholz. Let's talk about prostate cancer. This video is about stereotactic body radiation therapy, SBRT. Radiation therapy, when it's delivered by a beam, involves going to a specialized facility, sitting in front of a machine for a brief period of time on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, for a period of one or more weeks. Traditionally, radiation therapy required anywhere between five and nine weeks of therapy. SBRT is different because by giving larger doses on a daily basis, the treatment can be completed within a week or two, maybe three to five visits to the radiation therapy facility. This is certainly a lot more convenient. Radiation therapy has progressed most rapidly in the area of beam radiation. If you've done any, even a little bit of research, you're probably aware of IMRT, intensity modulated radiation, and uh, IMPT, intensity modulated proton therapy. SBRT uh, is beam radiation, but packaged over a much shorter period of time. This type of radiation has been under investigation for about 10 years. And there have been concerns about the delivery of such high doses over short periods of time. It does appear that the cure rates are equal and certainly a, a more convenient approach. The real question is whether the side effects would be worse. With the beam radiation, the concerns uh, uh, for serious side effects consist of erectile dysfunction, which no one really believes is any different between SBRT, IMRT, or IMPT. But because the rectal wall is very close to the posterior portion of the prostate, the possibility of a long-term non-healing burn to the rectal wall has been a concern. And some of the early studies suggested that the incidence of rectal burns called proctitis is a little bit higher with SBRT. This has been one of the reasons that I had hesitated to use SBRT um, because if that side effect occurs, it's a real disaster. Whether or not that's the case, there's a new type of technology out now called SpaceOR. SpaceOR is a treatment that involves injecting a gel between the rectal wall and the prostate, spreading the two apart so that the rectal wall no longer needs to be radiated in the course of a normal radiation therapy program. So with the advent of SpaceOR, it appears there's no reason for concern that uh, SBRT would be more toxic. Therefore, it compares favorably with IMRT and IMPT. Apparently, it has similar cure rates. It's clearly more convenient. And if there are no additional side effects, it may be the best way to go. So does this mean that SBRT or CyberKnife is going to completely replace proton therapy and IMRT? Well, there's a few areas where it certainly could. And one area looks particularly attractive, and that would be the possibility of doing more focal treatment. Many patients are unaware that standard radiation, SBRT, IMRT, IMPT, involves targeting the prostate gland, not the tumor within. The borders of the gland are the borders of the radiation. This has always been this way. Someday, especially now that imaging is improving so much, we may be able to radiate the tumor itself and spare much of the prostate. This could further reduce the potential for side effects. So SBRT may shine in that department, but radiation therapy via beam delivery is used commonly also to treat lymph nodes in the pelvic region. And there's little of any experience now with using short courses like SBRT to accomplish that. The other thing that is not quite clear is whether SBRT should be uh, combined with seed implant radiation as IMRT is, or whether it can be used instead of seed implantation therapy. So there's a lot of unanswered questions still. But for the TEAL patient, those that have intermediate risk prostate cancer, SBRT in expert hands with the use of a space or appears to be a very attractive alternative for curative therapy for prostate cancer. Mm -hmm.